PSA Collector. What's going on guys? It's Matt with PSACollector.com back with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna finish off the Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card list. These cards are from the Junk Wax era, but not from Junk Wax era product, okay? They're from collector's edition sets. Uh, you can't pull these cards from the Junk Wax era boxes that you see all over the place when you go you know, free flea markets or you're shopping on eBay or whatever. These rookie cards are his premium cards. They have premium prices. They're much more rare, much more collectible, much more valuable. All right. So top three Ken Griffey Jr. rookie cards. Let's jump into this list. Number three. Starting off the list at number three is a 1989 clear glossy Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card number 548, which has a total PSA population of 1,494 and only 117 PSA 10s, guys. This is from the 1989 Fleer Glossy Tin Complete Factory Sealed Set, okay? These tins are much more rare than the 1989 Fleer Baseball Boxes, okay? One recently sold at for 275 bucks on December 10th. I think that was a good deal. Dang, free shipping. Factory sealed, it looks like. Um, you guys gotta be very careful when you're buying these, okay? Make sure they have good feedback and a high rating. Uh, if not, you know, 275, I think that was a decent gamble. Why? Let's look what the PSA 10s are selling for. Currently, on average, a PSA 10 Fleer Glossy Ken Griffey Jr. Rookie, $2,720, guys, on average, okay? PSA 10. Now, these look just like the regular 1989 Fleer Glossy card, or Fleer cards. However, they have a gloss coat. They're different. They're more premium card stock. Big difference, guys. You won't be able to tell unless you're holding them in hand, okay? So, be very careful. Don't you know, you got to know what you're looking for. Don't pay a premium price for these cards unless they're in a PSA case or it comes from a factory uh, sealed set like this. Now, if you buy a sealed set, guys, you're, you're going to want to open it up. You're going to want to open it or hold on, on to it, uh, but it's risky, okay? Because guys have opened these, taken out the good cards, and sealed them shut and sold them as sealed, okay? So just be, keep that in mind. Remember that. Make sh Be very careful. And um, if you want to, you know, buy and hold long term, make sure you buy with some, from somebody that has, you know, I would suggest more than 83 feedback. Now, if you're going to buy it and open it up as soon as you get it to verify that all the cards are there, then yeah, I think 275 is a good price, especially considering the 10s are selling for, you know, tw over $2,500 easily. So that's number three, guys, is an 1989 Fleer Glossy, number 548. Uh, look at the PSN 9s are selling for, about 300 bucks, so not bad. You know what? I would go ahead and probably try to get the, the PSA 9 for that price instead of buying the set. But you could pull the 10. Who knows, guys? That's a gamble. It's uh, it's, it's what makes it fun. So check these cards out if you haven't already. Number two. Number two is a 1989 Topps traded Tiffany Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card number 41T. Total population, 1,952. PSA 10 population, 325, guys. Very rare. These are only found in these 1989... Top traded Tiffany factory sealed sets, guys. Limited edition collector's edition sets, okay? Not the other junk wax era boxes. That's why, look at zero available, 11 sold, over 600 bucks. I think that was a steal. Why? Because these PSA 10s are going up, guys, and they're rare. Look at how rare they are. Under 2,000 have been submitted so far. And PSA 10s currently sell on average for $3,211, guys. And they're good. They're going up, man. They were selling for under 500 in 2018. At the beginning of 2020, they were at about a thousand bucks. So very, very nice, guys. Very, very big jump in price. Doubled your money, almost tripled your money. Um, I think these these are going to go up in value. I suggest buying them in PSA cases already if you're looking for that uh, kind of investment. Uh, go for the lower grade stuff, guys. If you you know if you can't afford a ten, heck, I'd be I'd be willing to pick up a five. But you know, eighty two bucks back in two thousand nineteen, I think that was a steal. A PSA six, ooh, one hundred thirty three bucks in October. I think that was a steal because you know these sets aren't going to get any cheaper. So nineteen eighty nine tops traded Tiffany, any tops Tiffany stuff, guys. I think is a pretty good long term investment. So, but be careful with these sets as well. Lots of scammers out there. Lots of shady stuff. You're going to want to open it know what you're doing before you dish out some money. This one looks authentic to me. The seal looks authentic. Make sure there's no double seals. Uh, if there's shrink wrap on it, that's a big no-no. These did not come shrink wrapped. Um, but this one looks authentic to me. And I think that's why the seller had no problem selling all, all 11. Number one. Number one. The highest selling Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card of all time. His 1989 Bowman 
Tiffany, number 220, total PSA population of 1,521, PSA 10 population, 156. These were only found in these Bowman Tiffany collector's edition sets. Right now, there's one up at auction for $1,400. Uh, this looks authentic to me, 100% positive feedback you got 10 watchers who knows what's going to sell for but these are where you found find these 89 bowman tiffany ken griffey jr rookie cards nowhere else only in these not from packs complete sets only so the 1700 dollars a good price for this uh let's see i think so why because <laughs> these currently are selling at psa 10s are currently selling on average for seven thousand seven hundred and twenty five dollars psa 10s guys 1989 bowman tips look at that jump from around 3200 well actually less than that because uh 2500 before the boom about 25 that's a that price is going up to skyrocketing almost ten thousand dollars uh correction new support new support 6900 seven thousand i think is a good Good new support. Where's the next resistance? I think 10 G's after you know next couple of years, ten thousand dollars. Who knows, guys? I'm not. I don't. I can't see the foresee the future, but I think that these are one of his best rookie cards, especially the ones that are, you know, pristine looking. These this is obviously well centered. Bowman cards are hard to find centered. I think that's why these fetch premium prices. Uh, the, the the sevens two hundred twenty dollars. I you know I think that's Bowman Tiffany off centered, but still beautiful card. I think that's a great pickup at that price. You know, the eights are going up. They're all going up, guys. Make sure to take pictures if you guys are buying these car these sets, guys. There are a lot of uh, shady practices going out in the hobby. So I uh, just want to let you guys know these are the top three Ken Griffey Jr. rookie cards that are going up, up, up. And they're also the rarest. There are some minor league Ken Griffey Jr. rookie cards that you should look out for. These are the cards from his actual rookie year, not the 1988 um, minor league stuff. Okay. So top three Ken Griffey Jr. rookie cards. Hope you all enjoyed. I got more coming for you. Stay posted. Click that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. That way you get notified. And guys, do me a favor. Hit that thumbs up for me. All right. I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.